X, X Keyscore. You can follow me on Twitter at X Keyscore One. Thank you for joining me on the program. This video, number 11, is going to examine a civilian military operation, or CMO. For those of you who are regularly targeted and have been subject to neuro-linguistic programming, as described in one of my previous videos, you'll know that individuals with certain features and vehicles with certain features will be utilized in the stalking operation so that you're accustomed to seeing them and that it will be an over signal to you in a public location while at the same time not letting anyone else who be aware of what's actually taking place. So in my case, because I lived in Florida for many years, what they do to me in the D.C. area is swarm me with vehicles with Florida license plates. I can park at the edge of a parking lot and come out 10 minutes later and have three vehicles all with Florida license plates parked around my vehicle. This is an aspect of clandestine stalking. Now, also, when you pull into a place, you'll similarly have vehicles with the same markings or features that are identifiable to you not to anyone else in the area who's not paying attention. They will utilize those vehicles or that mechanism to make you aware that they've rolled in at the same time you have. Viewed As you view him through the camera, he would have made a beeline to the store. Instead, he saunters past my vehicle to assure that he's going to remain in my vision for as long as possible and to time his passing of my vehicle with my exit. So this is normal. If you're being targeted, you, you will have people that will show up at your car door as you're getting in, as you're getting ready to pull out. And it's meant to be startling and, and intimidating. And by the way, given the nature of the crimes they're engaged in, that does constitute assault if you're being stalked on a regular basis. So I already knew as this individual got out of the car by the license plate on the vehicle, his dress, the fact that he's in the military with a military plaque around the license plate. And that's also very common for those of you who are being stalked it seems like they want us to know that the military is involved, or at least to have the impression that military personnel are involved. Now, in the case of the Coast Guard, that's a subsection of Homeland Security. Homeland Security is one of the main participants and progenitors and facilitators of this now international extrajudicial targeting protocol. So instead of getting out of the car, I put down the window and asked the individual, just to get his attention, I used the disinformation term gang stalking. So I said, are you familiar with what gang stalking is? And his response was no. I would have just walked, I would have ignored the question, said, what the hell are you talking about? Or just walked off. Why? remain involved in a situation like that or interface with a total stranger. I then go on and ask the individual if he is in the military. He confirms that he is. I then ask him what a civilian military operation is. He said no, he doesn't. I then state to him that you've got a Florida license plate. My, what a coincidence. I don't need to reference that that's a neuro-linguistic programming anchor that Homeland Security uses on a regular base, basis for me. He doesn't really respond. I then say to him, if I trace your license plate, find out who you are and get your phone number and do a trace on your phone. Who am I going to find out? Who is the private intelligence agency 
that you have spoken with in the past hour. Now, once again, instead of walking off or what the, what the F are you talking about, the guy said, no, sir, I can't answer that. Really? Okay. Hey, are you familiar with gang stalking? Gang stalking. So you know you got a Florida license plate. Must be coincidence. Military, right? So let me ask you a question. Are you, do you know what a CMO is? Civilian military operation? Let me ask you, if I run your license plate, and then find out who you are, right? And I'm not kidding. If I do this, then get your phone number, who is the private intelligence agency operative you were speaking to within the past hour? It's illegal what you're doing. Now, after this interaction, if you weren't following the individual, wouldn't you kind of be nervous or have apprehension or at least make an effort to stay away from him or her if you had been approached and accused of stalking someone? I know I would. Now, I've never been in this store before, so I went to the wrong end of the store, to the wrong department. I asked for directions how to walk across the store and took a pretty, pretty long route. It wasn't direct. Within two minutes of arriving at the other end of the store, the Coast Guard personnel who parked right in front of my vehicle, who I had the exchange with, appears and stands in my line of vision. Now in the beginning of this video I referenced this as a civilian military operation. I am also going to show a clip at regular speed and in slow motion of a surveillance role player pointing a camera or an electronic device at me. As he approaches me you will not be able to see him however you will be able to see the coasty in the camera. I have a very small camera and just placed it on my counter and let it run. Then you are going to see a Latino or Middle Eastern walk by me, stare right at me, sneer as he appears to be filming me. Let's take a look at this at regular speed and in slow motion. Now, let's play this again one more time in slow motion. The individual enters from the right-hand side of the screen and moves to the left. Note what's in his hand, and then also as he passes by me, he makes a very quick, discreet hand signal behind his back with his left hand. So let's check this out again in slow motion. So three minutes after the surveillance role player who was dressed in black passed by me and the coastie left, I began to move out of the store. The entrance was, like in a straight line, probably a good 150 feet away. Maneuvering through the aisles, it was probably a good 225 feet. So I left that register, walked straight away from it, took a left, 
walked between a row of coolers, had two people cross in front of me, and then as I turned to the right, my direct line of vision was the Coastie who had parked in front of me. Furthermore, once again, instead of avoiding me or, you know, just wanting to give me some space because we'd already interfaced, not necessarily in a positive way, instead of giving me space, the guy made an effort to walk directly towards me and came within striking distance of me. And at this point in time, he did not look happy. Let's begin to wrap this up here. As I suggested at the beginning of this video, what you have had the fortune of seeing is an actual civilian military operation with active military personnel being Coast Guard and several surveillance role players, one of whom carrying a camera is depicted very clearly as engaging in some type of surveillance which is supposed to be overt to me, albeit covert to the rest of the public. What does that mean? Well, that means that at the same time you had military personnel on the premises, and mind you, I was only able to identify one of what may have been several. In addition to him, the surveillance role player was not by himself, and was coordinated through an individual who is a private intelligence agency employee. In addition to local law enforcement personnel who usually remain somewhere in the periphery in marked vehicles outside of the facilities when these operations are taking place. If there are local law enforcement personnel they would most likely belong to JTTF or law enforcement intelligence units. In any case, you saw a coordinated operation taking place which was successfully caught on video. You can find me on Twitter at xkeyscore1. Peace out. What I'm going to do today is go down to the far end and see if the police are already here waiting for me. And there's the police. 4297. Two zero three nine zero five L four two nine seven. So this is um, stalking. These are terrorism liaison officers, quote unquote, and this is going to be um, fire truck four eleven. How do I know? Because unit number four eleven stalks me all the time. Fire unit number 411.
Oh, my, what a coincidence. 411. License plate 179345L. Truck number 1742. As I left the gas station, these guys pulled up.